all of you innocents, shield your eyes. Here's a game called Drunken Robot Pornography. It's not exactly what it sounds like, but it rocks. Alright, it's uh, March 2013, and here we've already got a Game of the Year contender, and that was before I even played it. When you bring drunken robot pornography to the table, you bring win, and the gameplay backs it up. This game is wild and incredibly fun and challenging. I have a feeling it was inspired by a combination of Portal, Earth, Defense Force 2017, and Futurama. And odds are, if you're watching this show, you like at least two out of three of those things. It's not entirely clear what to do at first, and I, I like that about this game. It doesn't just hold your hand and give you a two-hour boring tutorial slash mini-movie. It literally throws you into the meat grinder against giant robots that you pick apart with laser beams. Don't forget to collect the martinis for points. Because why wouldn't martinis be worth big points? That, that's just common sense. Triple fire. In a way, DRP is very simple. You're destroying robots by finding out which extremities are their weaknesses and then tearing them to pieces with lasers. It's a lot more complicated and frantic when you get into it and you're being swarmed by enemies and just trying to stay alive. And obviously the music is a huge part of what makes drunken robot pornography so awesome. Triple fire. Triple fire. Now, I've been playing an alpha version of this game from Steam and came back one day only to find it had reinstalled itself, ma made the game harder, and given me a gun! Which kind of takes away something. I like the idea that I, I may have been a robot like Thexter shooting things out of my eyeballs, but, you know. I'll, I'll take whatever weapon I can because this, this game is hard as hell. Drunken robot pornography is out to kick your ass. And what, what you need to do is just run outside right now and and yell that I love drunken robot pornography I love it I can't get enough drunken robot pornography the fact is I do love drunken robot pornography and I also like this game while I didn't get a chance to tinker with them there's even a robot builder and level designer when playing this game the key to staying alive is moving constantly. Unless you can find a spot and pick off one of those things from a distance, while games like Bioshock are getting all the publicity, don't let DRP slip under your radar. Shield. Drunken Robot Pornography is one of the most fun, entertaining, challenging, and kick-ass games you're going to play. And play it you will, because you know you're curious about drunken robot pornography. That's right, I just dropped a rainbow orbital laser on that thing. I, I love this game. What's not to like? It's really tough, and I'll warn you, if, if you get stuck, just play it again and again until you just figure out what you need to do to get through each level. It's totally worth it. Highly recommended. Drunken Robot Pornography. Best video game title ever.